I was suffering extensively from spinal stenosis and desiccation of the, the discs in my in my vertebrae. I had a uh, lower lumbardectomy performed to clean disc debris out from inside my spinal cord and there was a 50% chance I could not walk again after that. I was in such pain, it didn't matter and it worked for me. It took the intense severe pain out of my legs, but the damage was still progressing and I was in a brace and eventually I'd be in a wheelchair. That, that was told to me by everybody. I was online and I was looking at stem cell therapy for injuries and that's what led me to Stem Cell of America. So I went through the first treatment and I came back and you know, I felt something a little different right away. So I went through that year and I would say after the first year that what I noticed was the progression of the disease and the crawling through my back and the pain, it, it, it stopped progressing. And it was the following year appointment. That's when I noticed big changes. That's when I could feel everything going backwards and I could feel the pain going away. I could feel my strength coming back and I could feel a lot of things happening. That was the beginning of the journey. But after that second treatment, three months after that, the pain was gone. The pain was gone after that. And I never had it since, I swear to that. And there was actually an added bonus to this treatment. That, that I wasn't even really cognizant of. I also have a congenital heart problem, had a congenital heart problem. I had an enlarged aorta, a distent root, which is a weakened root where it connects to the heart, which is called the widow maker. That's when that can blow out and you have seconds and, you're, and, and that's it. I have uh, a bicuspid valve and a mitral prolapse valve. It, it, it was thought that the mitral prolapse valve was a manifestation of a bad virus or a disease at some point, which got in around the, the valve and it inflamed and, and, and ate the, the hair or somehow degraded the hairs around the, the three little leaflets. I'm not a doctor, so I, I don't know the proper terminology. Anyway, so I, I had a pretty good backwash going on every time my heart pounded. So uh, I saw you, I believe in February, January, and this is December of that same year. I was at the cardiologist and he's listening, listening, listening. And he had this funny look on his face and he kept moving the stethoscope around and with this funny look on his face, he said, I don't hear anything. Any and I'm thinking, he doesn't hear anything. He doesn't hear my heart. <laughs> and I said, what do you mean? He goes, I don't hear that backwash anymore. What, he said, what have you been doing? I, and I've never told anybody about the treatments. I know how doctors can be about such things because other, other alternative medical approaches I've taken on my own, they don't want to hear about it. So I never told them and they still don't know. And I said, well, I, I've been eating all the vegetables that you told me to eat, green, healthy, leafy vegetables. And he said, this is amazing. He said, if I can't hear it, it's not there. So that was a bonus round from receiving the stem cell therapy. It absolutely corrected, significantly impacted that heart disease, that heart issue. And I'm grateful for that.